so here we are going back up over Adelman Pass, uh, now going toward Coffeen Park with Dawson leading the way. Like I said, I think this is at about 10,300 feet. Probably about six miles back uh, to the trailhead, um, and it's a fairly good, just gentle grade most of the way back. There really aren't too many steep sections, and unlike Geneva Pass yesterday, where the first uh, first good half to two thirds has minimal elevation gain at all. Um, and then it's more of a moderate climb during the final third to a half to get up to a similar elevation. This is more gradual the entire way, so I'm expecting to make uh, quite a bit better time on the way back. It took me four and a half hours to get here. Um, that included some time for botanizing, um, quite a few huff and puff breaks, at this elevation, even though I've been out here now for a week, sometimes there just simply isn't enough oxygen in the air to allow you to keep going without stopping to catch your breath. Um, so here we are. You can now see down into what's called a hanging valley. Um, this was carved when the glaciers were there. So this is not a valley like Easterners are used to, you know, carved between ridges by usually a river. Um, this was simply gouged out by glaciers um, over the centuries. 